Scorpio, song that's playing for you is 10 Freaky Girls. So, uh, on the bottom is the moon. You can be aware of, it's like, you you know your own emotions now. You know your cycles. You know, you know, now because it's crazy, the 10 of cups was in your last one. So it's like, you're aware of the motions you go through. The And, and they could all be some, it's like each, each, Feeling is a crazy feeling, you, or it's just a different feeling when it comes to you investing in a certain type of truth. It's crazy. The notification I got, and then the death is right here. Yeah, something might be transformers or something's ending. It was a death battle notification from YouTube. So it's like you could be in a situation and you may you a battle has come to an end regarding your truth or your understand. Look, what the fuck? I'm telling you, it's it, five of wands in reverse. But if you didn't see that, but. It's like an internal conflict or an external conflict regarding your passion and your truth or just your emotion. It's like a battle within self or externally has come to a conclusion. And now you are in your truth about something. Ten freaky girls. You got all your emotion. You got an understanding of each girl you go through, each feeling you go through when it comes to a certain topic, subject, or situation. And now you're taking action to express the passion you've been keeping to yourself about that. It's like you're investing in an idea or you're investing in a certain routine or pattern or in a person or a place. You feel me? You're doing something now that you know about your 10 freaky girls. Now that you got a better understanding about yourself, you're no longer holding on to ill feelings about something external to you or or just about a situation, friendship, or relationship you might have had before. And that was keeping you, it's like you were robbing yourself of your own happiness. And you ain't doing that no more. I can't even read that one. <laughs> yeah, knife talk. That shit came out. You over something. Emotionally, it's kind of done. Now that you know about yourself, look what's back. You might, you knowing about yourself, you found out where your weakness was coming from, where your strength was being siphoned. And you made the decision, uh, uh, it's time to get over this feeling. It's time to stop feeling like that regarding X, Y, and Z or whatever you had going on. You feel me? You might have been in a particular participation <laughs> you might have been in a situation that it's like you kept giving thinking you were finding strength but really you were you giving to something whether it was an idea a mindset or energy or a person a place a relationship a friendship you thought you giving to this would build or bring you it's like you once found strength but really, it wasn't strength. It's like you tricked yourself into thinking this was making you bringing strength towards you. Because you wanted something to bring strength towards you. Whether that was a relationship. It's like a relationship you wanted to work. An idea you wanted to work. Uh, some sort of expression or communication with your external world that you wanted to work. And you realized that it it wasn't supposed to work. So now that you got a... And that you realize that. Because you got a better understanding of your moon. Your, the what light or what phases you go through regarding situations, friendships or relationships or ideas or whatever we talk about. So now you're over the hurt. And you have, now when you speak or communicate, knife talk. Real, it's real straight to the point. Or it's like when you communicate or express yourself to this, when in this new feeling, it's like people could be in a position where they're hesitant on investing or expressing towards you. Yeah, look, you took a little leap. You took a leap of faith in a new direction or someone else. Again, I told you someone outside of you might want to take a leap of faith towards you because you're over some sort of hurt. You're no longer in a wounded emotional place regarding a friendship relationship or just an idea, whatever you got going on. You feel me? You matter of fact, matter of fact, you manifesting, you expressing a whole lot of passion. And it's like you're in your truth. And that is putting you in a position to experience new experiences with the fool. Or it's putting someone in the space to want to experience an experience with you. And put your foot. It don't even have to be someone. It could be a group of people or a person or a place. Your manager want to put you in a certain type of position now. They want to. It's like 
it, yo, you got your manager in a certain type of space wanting to express and it's like get you in a better space. It's just because of your emotional expression and how you invest in yourself at work. You feel me? Fucking knows. The song that came out song, this card that came out is the tower. And the, the death showed its face previously. So it's like something's over. But it, it's like you transform somebody. By taking a leap of faith in whatever you got going on. You're transforming people's minds or or fixed pers perspectives about you or something you had going on. By taking, it's like because you got over some sort of feeling or some sort of mind or an emotional investment that wasn't working. It was really making you weak. Now that you out of that, now that you taking a leap of faith and expressing passion, now that you manifesting, it's like tower a tower is occurring outside of you whether it's a positive tower and you're it's like you're transforming people shout out to pluto or you're in a position where it's like someone outside of you's world is coming down in a negative way because of a leap of faith you're taking yeah but you know what side of pinch you fall yeah hallelujah yeah look it's just if it's you versus you you could be in a position after going through a tower, a much needed tower, a much needed uh, life check, so to speak. And now you love, you set your sights on a new, you see a new world and you going for it. And that is putting you in a certain type of position regarding your passion and how you are received regarding your passion. Whether that's just an internal thing, you got this one idea that kind of beats all the other ideas. You feel a lot. When you get a lot, you see a whole vision, a whole world when you think about this versus when you think about that. So now that this idea, this one is it for you. That's what you want to go for. And so you're going for it. You getting over that in order to put yourself in the position to go for that. Whatever we talking about, whether that involves people, a person or just minds, routines, patterns, habits, hobbies. You feel me? And it's a blessing. Hallelujah is the song that's playing for you. It's like something is is a blessing. The fact that you were able to become aware of this in uh, internal situation or externally, you may see something as a blessing. Big shout out to my jeweler. Again, or you're transforming people. It's like you could be in a position where you're putting people ex in your external world in a position. Hey, Dad, yeah, put your foot in the shoe that fits you. And that's just because you got over some sort of emotional trauma. Yeah, look, I'm telling you, if it's not you in a position where you invest in a new, new minds, new habits, new hobbies, new routines, new patterns, new environments, new social groups, whatever we talk about, you, you, you taking a chance. After something has came to an end that made you realize what was it the whole time, whatever it is for you, now you're investing in that. You're investing in it. You know, you have enough examples as to why something's it is. And it's like that change. I told you that changed you. If it's not in a position, if you're not in a position to be changing people for, in your external world. Because of these new endeavors, because you got over something that was making you weak and you became aware of your more aware of your own emotions, your own. You made a decision and that decision transformed your life. And because it transformed your life, it's also transforming people outside of you's lives because of something you're doing. Whatever we talking about, whatever we talking about. You don't even got to be affecting your external world. It could just be a whole, it's, you could be in a whole, you going through a whole, like, internal thing. And nobody outside of you know about it. But for some reason, your external world see you in a different space. They see you in a different light. You in a different mind. You're not investing in the things you used to invest in. You got new habits. You got new patterns. Your parents looking at you like, what's going on with Scorpio? Your friends looking at you like, oh, Scorpio, I didn't know you ain't getting... Invest in that no more. You feel me? It's like that type of shit. If it's just an internal thing. Or it's just people outside of you who experience a space or energy with you. It's transformed in some way. And it's like they in it there you're you put you you put people in a position to put themselves in a position. Yeah, I'm telling you, and that's just that it's someone could be tripping out about that shit. 
The last card is the world in reverse. So it's not you. Someone outside of you tripping out, tripping out because you over something. And you not only that, but you not. It's like you could be real observant about the emotions you feel now when it comes to a certain type. So it's like it, once upon a time, someone could have came to you and expressed themselves towards you in an emotional manner, and you would have took that. Now hey, you're not gonna just take that. You feel me? You're going to look at what they bring in and how that makes you feel now that you're more aware of your moon and instead of just up and jumping in something. You feel me? Up and taking this feeling from these people. Taking this feeling from this person. And that's all. Look, I told you. Well, if someone could once play with you, they can't play with you no more. And that's because you, you, ain't, you ain't in conflict about some shit. You ain't confused about some shit. Yeah, serial killer. Hey, you might have had a whole little internal slaughter of your men, some men and women. You, you. I told you, it's like a, there was a war going on inside of you regarding uh, two truths. Look, as I say that, two of, two of swords in reverse, and you made a decision. There was a winner. There's a new king. There's a new ruling idea, a ruling perspective, ruling realization that made you change your perspective about the others. Whatever, whoever was ruling previously has now fallen. Whatever idea, perspective that you thought was it, and you don't think about that the same no more. It, if it's a people, a person, or just a minor thing you had going on. There's a new sheriff in town. 